Hello and welcome to Your Truck Simulator 2. Uh, just a quick look at some of the settings available with the new Mercedes Actros. So without further ado, we'll jump inside the garage. So you'll take a quick spin through the upgrades. Uh, we've got various cabs, there's not to lose the paint, so stream space. This is the, uh, the base spec. Big space and giga space. Chassis, you've got your standard chassis scenarios going on. You've got, uh, they're fairly, I think they're fairly long chassis on here. But they'll probably be uh, good for your longer runs. Uh, we have sparse fuel stations, because I guess those tanks are considerably bigger. A uh, bunch of engine options, minimum spec or base spec, 421 brake horsepower, 2.1, 2.1 kilonewtons all the way through to six uh yes 625 brake 3000 uh, newton meters and i'm currently running the 578 you'll see that in a second gearboxes two gearboxes standard and retarded 12 speed uh, incidentally three speeds uh, reverse uh, which is nice um and so you can go pretty pretty rapid uh backwards so uh, that's good uh, two cab options changes your, your interior trim uh, pretty much the only option you've got a bit of a, a walnut uh, type dash and the interior it's quite a lovely looking interior to be honest quite uh, quite detailed uh, it looks like it turns the, the some bits of plastic from what well, plastic to chrome chrome effect uh, we'll come back to paint jobs in a second. Uh, in terms of options, there's in places there's it's kind of standard really. Uh, that's for your beacons. Of course, you've got your roof racks um, or your light bars rather. Only four options for those. Uh, only one sun visor option. Can I afford that? No, that's a shame. Uh, of course, mirror options. I've removed those just to save a bit of cash. Uh, mirrors. Um, actually, what's wrong with that? It's got quite a Quite a, uh, I see what they've done. They've maintained the line. I like that. I suppose it's just looked initially. It looked quite big, but uh, you don't really need to see up there. Near. Uh, couple of number plate options: driver's plate, like see mirrors, plastic, paint, chrome. It's got a little bit of a chrome bit on there. Uh, ball bars. Uh. Yeah, remove it. I'm not buying any of these. Um, yeah, some with lighting options, some without. Um, it's a matter of taste. Again, there's a couple there that are locked, which will probably be the, uh, the Goliath, is it? And there's another one as well, the weird um, pointy one, I call it. Uh, grills, not many options, again, in the stock truck. Most have lighting points on there. Uh a big game changer, excuse the pun, uh, for, I think this came out 1.17, are the wheels. Now, two things, uh, if you've not got this this pack, I don't know how what the situation is. I guess you can, you can upgrade, and most people have got this, if even without the DLC. But, of course, you can change your, your rims uh, and your tyres independently now, which is nice. Uh, but also, I've got uh, installed a new pack by 50k. Uh, 50 uh, k either. Um, uh, new wheel pack, which I'll leave a link in the description below. Uh, change the hubs there, and it gives you a bunch of new tyres as well, and some quite big ones. Uh, now you can run stock uh, stock tyres with the 50 k hubs, but you can't run stock hubs with 50 k tyres. Um, I've discovered, and you get different. Uh, various different sizes there of course you've got your stock which is quite thin in relation to this and then you get some thicker looking uh, tires as you go up the scale so that's awesome and again the same applies for the back uh, back hubs as well <coughs> excuse me um side fairings i don't know why i call them that side skirts you got your stock, uh, your, your basic one, 
and then the one with sort of a, a chromey trim on it looks quite nice some vents and uh, the exhaust there got some footholds on that side uh, there should also be if i can find the little anchor point for it no not on this chassis uh, but on a different chassis there's the option down there for um it's like a chrome bar that runs along the, the the base there that sort of looks just like that which looks quite nice or you could uh there's an exhaust option as well uh, to go on that side and again you've got the your door handles chrome and paint uh and i think that about covers it really that's all i've found so far anyway uh, so we shall come out of this i shall concentrate New place, I do you want to cancel all? Yes, I do. Thank you very much. Paint shop. In case you've got standard uh, paint jobs that come with the truck. Again, you can have custom colour there. Sort of silver effect. Custom metallic. Uh, they, I don't think these paint jobs come with the truck. I'm not sure where they've come from. Uh, so this is the... Uh, the uh, part of the Viking slash Nordic style pack that looks pretty awesome to be fair they all look awesome really well done stay tuned coming up very soon will be a journey from Dover to Calais via the English Channel that's right you heard me via the English Channel not using a ferry not using a tunnel so Yep, subscribe, press like, and uh, take care and drive safe.